Well, good morning, beloved, and happy Monday and Merry Christmas. Can you believe it? This is the week of Christmas, and so may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope, in faith, in love and wisdom through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory before time, now, and forever. You know, we've been looking at the different characters in the manger scene, and there's some characters that you will never find in the manger scene, and those are the characters in the Christmas story that never made it to Bethlehem, although they knew the information, they didn't go. I'm talking about Herod and the religious leaders in Jerusalem. You know, when the wise men showed up in Matthew chapter 2, they asked, where is he who has been, who has been born king of the Jews? Uh, we have seen this star. We've come here to worship him. And it says that Herod and all Jerusalem were terrified. That's the word, terrified, at uh, the appearance of the wise men. They didn't understand what was going on. And so Herod called the religious leaders together and they said, well, no, not here in Jerusalem, it's in Bethlehem. The prophet Micah foretold that. It's in Bethlehem where the king would be born. And so the religious leaders had the information, but they didn't go. The wise men did and they found Jesus. But Herod and the religious leaders, although they had the biblical knowledge they didn't apply it to their lives. And beloved, the same can happen to us today. We can have a lot of Bible information, but what good is Bible information if we don't apply it to our lives? And before you can apply it to your lives, you must see the need that you have for it in your life. And that requires faith. And the Bible message comes with faith if you will accept it and receive it. And so today and throughout this Christmas, a week of Christmas and this Christmas season, not only hear the message of the Bible, follow it, and it always leads to Jesus Christ. Find Him and worship Him today. We pray in the name which is above every name, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and hallelujah.